What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex, my name is Travis. Today we're going to be talking about what happened to my Radeon lights at Rifa Palooza. Now as you guys know, I brought four XR15 Gen 4 Pros with me to Rifa Palooza. I actually took them off of my 300 gallon tank, which has a total of eight of them. And uh, I also purchased a Reef Link and brought my computer with me, uh, just in case I had some kind of reprogramming issue. Now what happened is I actually uh, brought those lights with me. They were already set up from the night before. They had the right spectrum intensity, all that kind of stuff. So pretty much all I had to do at Reefing Palooza was plug them in and they would go back to the uh, the programming that I had set up there. Now the problem is about, uh, what, two hours before the close of setup on Friday, uh, my Radeon started blinking and then defaulted back to 100%. Now at that time I went ahead and reconnected them to my uh, computer and also tried the ReefLink. But the problem we had in that building was that uh, the cell phone service was really bad. There was no Wi-Fi, and I was using a hotspot off my phone. So it was really touch and go when it came to service. So that definitely limited uh, the ability to connect to EcoSmart Live and reprogram the lights. Now, as I was doing that, I noticed that the um, Radeon techs were actually working at another booth trying to figure out pretty much the same issue. I went over and talked to them, and they said that uh, the Radeons within the building all reset at one time and that they're trying to go through and fix the problem. Now, about 45 minutes later, they came over to my booth and started working on my lights. Now, the problem was is that we had an hour left before the close of setup, and I needed to make sure that my lights were going to work the next day. Now, I will give it to them. They worked really hard to try to get them to uh, reprogram, but I think with the lack of Internet service in there, I just wasn't or they just weren't able to actually reprogram them and get the uh, spectrum and light intensity, all that kind of stuff set up. But they did offer to actually take the lights with them back to their hotel and reprogram them there for the next day. Now, I was totally fine with uh, actually bringing the lights to them and having them uh, kind of take care of the programming, and I really appreciated the support that they offered. They went above and beyond. They really did work hard. There just wasn't enough service or whatever in the building to take care of it at that time. But uh, then I got to thinking, what happens if uh, tomorrow, if they reset again at 10 a.m., an hour before the show, what do I do then? I got to take the lights off, go find better service, reprogram, and hope it doesn't happen again during the show because you're not going to sell coral underneath 100% whites on a, under the XR15. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't look good. It's definitely not good for the coral to be blasted that hard. And uh, so with that being said, I, I went over uh, to Kessel and I talked to them. I told them what happened, and uh, I ended up walking away with two AP700s, brand new in the box, which I in turn bought on Sunday as a token of appreciation for helping me out last minute. Now, the point of this video is to not only kind of put out my experience with the Radeons, but I also contacted Radeon via phone and via email, and I'll show you guys the email that I got here in a second, but I just, I didn't really get a clear answer on what happened, and there has to be an answer on why the Radeons in the building reset at one of the biggest uh, frag shows in the country, and uh, just kind of getting generic answers and kind of being tossed around a little bit, I'm a little irritated. Uh, I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on their lights, and I'm not getting an answer on why it happened. So here is the email that I received a couple days after sending one to them. And uh, it says, uh, thank you for calling Ecotech uh, Marine. I'm sorry about what happened over the weekend with your Radeon lights. There was certainly some unique interference from one of the devices physically at the venue. As we don't include the ability to reset lights remotely via our programming code, we did speak with the other vendor that would have access to that to ensure that it does not happen again. Uh, it would have uh, taken someone the knowledge of their control platform to be able to send out such a signal. So that truly is something that was occur that has occurred only once under these specific conditions. Now, I do appreciate the email back, but I felt that it was kind of generic and just kind of uh, pushed me to the side. Uh, what vendor did you talk to? Because I knew there were more than uh, just the two of us there that had Radeons in the building. So uh, the single vendor... Uh, unless you narrowed it down to who it was. And also, what did they do? Can you tell me so I don't do it to somebody else or accidentally do it? Uh, the knowledge would be appreciated. Also, uh, what is the what causes this? Is somebody able just to, if they know enough about your system, they're able to log in and, and wipe out all the Radeons? So if you get some rogue dude at a show, what's preventing it from happening at the next show? So these are the questions that I have. Now, I do want to mention that this is not a bashing session on Ecotech at all. Their customer service was great at the show. I could give them 100%, 110%. Uh, they, they did an amazing job and did everything they could to support uh, the booth. Um, but really what I'm getting at here is as a consumer, 
as somebody who has spent a lot of money on these lights and want to promote them through my business and through YouTube and through um, a client builds, I, I need to feel the confidence that this is not going to happen again or just give me an answer that makes sense. And, um, and then we'll go about our ways. That's it. So I really want to know what you guys think about this. Again, because I'm not tech savvy, I don't know the infrareds or what, however they communicate. I do know how to program, set up WXM and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to this technical uh, jibber jabber, I don't know. So uh, I just simply sharing my experience. If you guys know more about these lights on that aspect, please put a comment in the comment section below and uh, share the video because somebody uh, will know the answer. And I just I want it for myself. If you want to contact me uh, via fishofhex at gmail.com, that'd be great. Or you can put in the comment section below. Either way, I, I just want an answer on why it happened. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.